line types in Oracle Services Procurement. It's very important to understand the line types in purchase orders or requisitions related to Oracle Services Procurement because it's the line type that determines the outcome of a requisition and the associated purchase order. So let's understand. As you could see, there are different kinds of line types such as fixed price services, fixed price temp labor, rate based temp labor, services quantity based and services amount based. There is a subtle difference between each of these and most of the difference you can see right away by the name itself. But most often you will see these four line types being used. One is fixed price service and fixed price temp labor. So what is the difference between these two? So in fixed price service you'll see that purchase basis is services and value basis is fixed price. So you are purchasing for example a $700 amount on a PO with quantity not required. So as an example, you're purchasing service worth $700 from a contractor and at the end of the day or at the end of that service agreement, you pay him this much amount. You are not adding quantity. For example, quantity could be number of hours of his or her time spent on delivering that particular service. So it's something similar to a lump sum amount. So it's a fixed price. Okay. And then you have got fixed price temp labor. So here the purchase basis is temp labor, whereas the value basis is fixed price. So you will have fixed price scope, whereas you are looking for a temporary labor. For example, you're purchasing $10,000 fixed price consulting services contract for labor. So that exactly fits into this particular one. So here, uh, yes, services. Services could be anything. So I was giving you an example of contractor, but here it could be anything else. It could be, for example, phone services. Some taking a remote service. But whereas this one is a temporary labor. Temporary labor is nothing but a contractor. So this specifically would make your requisition for a contractor. Okay, then you've got rate based services, you've got rate based temp labor. So, this is something like a TNM or time and material labor. So, here you've got purchase basis as temp labor, whereas value basis as rate. So, what could be the rate? Rate could be $100 an hour or $800 a day plus over time. So that's what is a rate and where that rate is up getting applied, it's getting applied in relation to a temporary labor, in other words, for a contractor. So in this case, there is no fixed scope. The scope is um, given by the client as long as he can complete that in a specific period of time, but that specifics are not specified. So. For example, the work the client has specified is, for instance, writing a high-level document for a project plan. Now, it could be completed in seven days or it could be completed in 10 days. So if it's completed on seven days, then the billing will be accordingly seven days at the rate of $100 an hour. But such negotiation happens with the contractor before the client engages them wherein the contractor gives them an estimate of the number of days or the period in which he or she could complete a specific task. So there is always a scope of plus and minus 10 to 15 percent over the agreed amount of time which is where the client has to pay the agreed rate. Okay, So that's rate based temporary labor. Then you've got services which are quantity based. So wherein the purchase basis are goods and the value basis are quantity. So you've got 
an example billed by quantity wherein 10 days of services at the rate of $800 a day the quantity is 10 10 days of service whereas the price is $800 okay so this is quite similar to what we have covered it already so as I said most of the time you will see these three line types being used but you can as well go for these ones if you got a specific requirement as I have given an example over here so the second one you've got services amount base wherein the purchase basis is services whereas the value basis is amount so you build by amount for example an incoming call contract wherein the price is one dollar for each call and the quantity is hundred calls okay so which is where you can potentially use this type of line types now I'm going to go to Oracle applications and I'm going to quickly show you where these line types gets defined as such you can define these line types in Oracle purchasing module and the setup of line type is then used in I procurement as well as purchasing modules all right so let's go to Oracle applications so I'm going to log in here C Baker or Catherine Baker password okay once you log in then I'm going to go to purchasing responsibility so purchasing vision operations USA that's the one and then I'm going to go to setup then purchasing and then line types okay and here you would see a number of line types that we have discussed for example fixed price services fixed price temp labor so if you open this one in edit mode you could see the value basis is fixed price the purchase basis are is services okay likewise if you go and see the fixed price temporary labor then it will be slightly different wherein the value basis is fixed price whereas the purchase basis is temp labor okay and the way you define these line types Oracle purchasing will associate a line workflow accordingly so every different line types the purchase basis or the value basis that you are associating with the line type the workflow will be automatically chosen while you are making the requisition and then the purchase order with the assumption that the workflow is already predefined in fact most of these workflows that runs in the background come seeded unless and until you want to have something unique wherein you've got to do customization okay then you've got another line type called as rate based temp labor the one that we discussed so wherein the value basis is rate and uh, purchase basis is temp labor as I've given you example wherein a labor could be hired for any number of days at the rate of say hundred dollar an hour or eight hundred dollar a day something like that so you've got more ones over here that you can define so I leave it to you to explore this one as you could see here the services line type wherein the value basis is quantity whereas the purchase basis is goods okay so I leave it to you to explore and I also suggest you to go through the documentation in Oracle purchasing user guide wherein this have been explained very nicely.